We'll know pretty quickly based on the telemetry what Toom wants to do. Polymove is right there in that window, right around 145 miles per hour. Toom starting to crank up the speed, accelerating to 160 now. 165 down the front straightaway. And Toom Autonomous Motorsport completes that challenge. We move to the next tier of 150 miles per hour. It's interesting to see as that car came in to close down the pass, it almost was almost over the record to come back up the track. So it is starting to get to the speed where they are struggling a little bit to, to maintain some stability there. So this is uh, interesting. Two maintains that 150 mile per hour speed. Polymove accelerating to the outside, 168 through the corners, nearly to 169. Now they crack 169, accelerating oh. onto the front stretch and a spin from Toom down to the infield and able to continue on. No damage to the car, but what does that mean for Toom? I think it that is over. day yep. done. Yeah, they will not be able to pass. So the champions from Indianapolis come up just short. We reach the 150 mile per hour barrier. Polymove blasted through it and Toom did not. There is the elation in the Polymove pits. They are the champions of the Autonomous Challenge at CES. Very deserving of, the, of this award. They did a great job. They've really overcome a lot of uh, a lot of barriers to get here. And again, land speed records now uh, holders and also the champions here. Talking to the Tomb team yesterday, they basically told me we'll win or we'll spin or crash trying. That's exactly what played out here today. They fought on gamely, but you called it early. The strategy from Polymove, the car looked stable, but they also seem to have the strategy aspect figured out. Yeah, I think it's just, it's difficult. We saw it with the Cavalier car. It seems like, you know, trying to close off that pass on the front straightaway, there's enough banking there. It's just difficult. The car seems a little bit unstable when they do that. And um, so I, I, I think that was a good strategy for them to be able to complete that pass sooner and kind of get that pass closed off as soon as possible while the track is, is pretty flat. One more time, both cars driving at in excess of 150 miles per hour and a harmless spin in terms of damage, but very hurtful, harmful towards the championship aspirations for Toom. Their day ends with a spin through the infield here in Las Vegas. Let's get reaction from our champions. Polly Move, Katie is standing by. What an incredible reaction. I have goosebumps right now. Brandon Dixon affiliated with the Polymove team. Brandon, what is your first initial reaction to just net winning this competition? Well, I mean, that whole that whole uh, last round was absolutely amazing. The, the speeds and the cars racing essentially that close to each other, completing passes. Uh, that last round at 150 miles an hour for the defender, I think we were going nearly 170. Uh, to complete the pass on that on that move, it was uh, it, it was exciting from where I was sitting. It was we were all incredibly nervous and uh, and and I couldn't be more thrilled to have uh, to have successfully completed uh, this competition. What does this mean for moving technology, autonomous technology forward? Well, I think it's clear that this is this is the sort of thing that just hasn't been done. This is this is clearly pushing the limits and the boundary, and and we see you know, exactly how close to the limit we really were this afternoon uh, with, the, with the tomb car just, just barely losing the grip to make it through the corner. A lot of work put in by you and your students. I also want to catch up with Sergio Savarese. He uh, wasn't over here for those final moments, but Sergio, we want to catch up with you real quick if we can. Congratulations. You, you are the champions here in Las Vegas. Spectacular uh, final. Uh, very nice. I really thanks also to the TUM team for they, you see, very, very strong. It was very high speed and we're very happy to, to reach this, this goal. So we really was, uh, how to say, in Indianapolis, we have this technical problem. We really believe we deserve a bit more. And this is a, a sort of, from my point of view, a bit of a compensation of what we lost in Indianapolis in October. Very happy. You seem a little emotional. I'm very emotional at this point. So, uh, all my team uh, has been working a lot uh, for this, uh, and uh, we are really happy because uh, we, um, I think we, we got some result uh, out of a lot of work, uh, and I think this is what, what we, 
really want to have. If you work, if you work a lot, uh, sooner or later, maybe sometimes we are unlucky, but at the end of the story, you get some result. Congratulations, I can hear your team celebrating behind us. I'll let you get back to it. Rob, your reaction from what we heard? It was great to see him. He's, they have really worked hard. They, they did everything they needed to do. They did it all correctly. It's great to see. And obviously the emotion is, is, is expected, to be honest with you. They really have pushed it. And it's been a hard, uh, hard struggle to get here. And uh, they deserve what they got today. You know, their car was flawless. It looked so smooth out there. They had the right strategy to run. And, and uh, you know, they were up against.